what's up guys in this video i will teach you how to use uh, the statement the logical gates and all this stuff in c so first of all let's review if you don't know what is a logical gate a logical gate is a gate <laughs> which has uh, inputs and one output so let's say that we have an and logical gate so in this case uh, we just have two inputs but we can have all the inputs we want like we could have here c d and all that stuff the and gate uh, returns uh, one in the output only when all the inputs are one so if you check here we only have two inputs but only in the case in which a and b are one then uh, the result is one so yeah those are the and gate only when all the inputs are one with the or gate doesn't happen this doesn't happen so for example in the or gate is just when one of the inputs is one so if we have c d e or whatever if one of those inputs is one then the result is one so yeah you can see that we only have one zero when the when all the inputs are zero then you have the not gate which negates the 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 input so for example if you receive a one you receive as a result uh, a zero if the not gate receives a zero it returns as a result a one so yeah this is very simple but how do we create and how do we use these um, things in, in c so let's create a program in which we use an if statement so let's create a variable in a which is going to be equal to 4 and also let's create a b variable which is equal to 5 now in order to create an if statement we just have to put here if we open the brackets and inside the brackets is where we have to put the the condition that we want to check so for example let's say that if a and b are equal we are going to print they are equal otherwise else we are going to print let me copy this so it's faster they are not equal they are not equal so yeah a lot of things here as i said before in order to create an if statement you just simply type here if you open the brackets you put inside here the condition you want to check and then you open this uh, I don't know the word in English but you open these brackets and whatever is inside these brackets is what is going to be executed in case this condition is fulfilled if this condition is fulfilled whatever is inside these brackets is the thing that is going to be fulfilled otherwise else whatever is not like whatever is in these brackets is going to be executed so let's compile the program and let's run it they are not equal this is what is printing they, it's saying that they are not equal in c we can compare things in a lot of ways so for example this is uh, saying that if it's equal we could say if it's different this means if it's different if we compile and execute it says they are equal instead like oh, let me ch change this yeah now it's easier to understand so now if we execute this we see that the condition is fulfilled we see that a and b are different but we can check uh, a lot of things like for example we can check if a is a smaller than than b the condition is fulfilled if a is bigger than b the condition is not fulfilled what the computer does is okay it comes here it checks this it says okay th this is not okay like this is not fulfilled so i go here to the else statement and i print uh, and i do whatever is inside this bracket so yeah but there are more comparisons so for example we could check if it's bigger or equal if it's smaller or equal and so on so yeah let's put it like this and let's add an other uh, if inside this if else if is called so for example let's say that in case uh, this is not fulfilled but this condition that we are going to write is fulfilled b is b 
bigger or equal than 5. Okay, so now what we are checking is, okay, is A bigger than B? If not, then the computer is going to check this second if, inside the if, this else if, and it's going to say, is B, is B bigger or equal than 5? So we compile and we execute, we see that the second condition is fulfilled. So the computer checked this one and it said, okay, this is not fulfilled. Let me check this one. It checked this one, it was fulfilled, and then it did whatever is here. So for example, if I change this and I put here uh, 4, then the condition is not fulfilled. It goes to the else. Because, why? Because this one is not fulfilled, then it goes here and checks this, and this is also not fulfilled, and it goes here and it prints uh, this. It does this. But for example, let's add logical gates. So this is pretty simple. So now our condition is saying, okay, if A is bigger than B, which is not fulfilled, or this is the OR gate, A is equal than B, which is fulfilled, then let's uh, print this. So if we compile and execute, we see that the condition is fulfilled because as we said before, uh, OR with the OR gate, we need only one of the inputs uh, to be true. So this input is true and we have this we have this printed. But now if we use the AND gate, we recompile and we execute, we see that the condition is not fulfilled. Because as we said before, with the AND gate, we need both conditions, both inputs to be true. So yeah, it goes here, it checks all this condition, it says it's not fulfilled. Uh, we, I need both of these uh, to be okay, and they are not okay. So it comes here and it prints this. Another thing are the bit operators. So for example, this is the AND, and we are comparing conditions, like this returns true or false. In reality, this doesn't return true or false. Like, unless you include the boolean... Uh, library, but even though you include it, I think that C doesn't use that. This returns 1 or 0. 0 is false and 1 is true. So, for example, this is 0 and this is 1. So the AND operator is 1 and 1. But you can use a bit operator, which is this one. And this is different, like you cannot do this. So, for example, what this does is that it checks all the bits stored in that variable. So for example, now we have one and one and inside four bytes, that's a big number, but it would be something like this and a one. And in B, we also have something like this and a one. If we have in B two, for example, we have here one, zero. So you see, if we have two and one, if we compare the bits, it will be like this and this are equal. Yes, they are equal, so continue. But when we reach this point and we compare this with this, it says, okay, this is not equal. So then uh, it's not okay. So this is what the bit operator is doing. So for example, let's check it. If we compare A and B, we compile and we execute, we see that the condition is not fulfilled. But if we do this, now the values are the same, the condition is fulfilled because it's comparing every bit inside those uh, those variables. The same happens with the OR. If we put here OR, the condition is fulfilled, but if we change the value, I think it will also work, but I'm not sure. Yeah, it will also work. So yeah, this is the bit operator, and in order to do the not operator that we checked before, it's pretty simple as well. So let us go back and let's put the previous condition. If we see this is not fulfilled, this returns false, but what we can do is put everything inside brackets and say, okay, give me this condition, and I will change, I will reverse the condition. So this is now returning false. But if I do this, this is the not uh, gate, the, uh, it will transform a false into true. 
a zero into one. So if I execute, now you see, now the condition is fulfilled because we changed this false to true. And whenever the, the computer checks this, it says, okay, this is working. So <laughs> good. So yeah, that was everything. I hope you liked it. I hope you understood in a better way the logical gates and the if statements. And I hope you understand how to use them in C. <laughs> so yeah, give it a like, subscribe, share, and see you in the next one. Don't forget to go and check my website in which I talk about trading and cryptocurrencies and all that stuff for a very cheap price. Mm -hmm. Ay. Ay.